Hello everyone, this is Fiolik and today I want to taste this Night Forest Mousse from May Leaf. Are you excited too? I am very excited. Then let's get this done. Okay, welcome back everyone. It's good to see you again. <laughs> so I'm going to start breaking the tea cakes. And um, this tea cakes has a really, uh, you know, it, it smells so nice from the just before, even before you open the paper, you can smell like a really, really fresh and nice flurry and also some little bit of like citrusy kind of freshness smell and it's just so so mind-blowing it's really nice and um tea itself has uh various uh kinds of uh, colors in here in here and i i quite um it's just uh, really nice uh i'm 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 very Sad that I have such a little vocabulary in English because I, I want to express more, but it's really hard. But it has certain uh, like pretty color variation in here, which it, which I think quite uh, interesting because um, normally they look quite like bright. Still, this has a special <coughs> nice combinations of the colors. I'm going to use a, a big, my biggest guy one, which can hold about 200 milliliter. So I will uh, try to take. Uh, I will try to break this tea cake with that uh, right amount, probably approximately about five grams. I don't have a. I'm not going to measure it exactly. Still. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay, I think this is ready. And now, time to brew it. Unfortunately, I have uh, lots of uh, little uh, leaves that has broken a lot. So probably this might taste like a little bit more bitter. But it's okay. I... I like bitter tea as well. Bitterness is good for your health. In Korea, some people say. <laughs> and if you, I don't know if you notice little P there. It's the two o, uh, 2019 is a year of peak. So I, I put that little dude there. I'm going to rinse the tea quickly. I quite like the fact that Piggy is yellow because uh, this year, 2019, is uh, Golden Pig's year. So I probably have to um, my uh, use the Piggy tea pad for my tea time more often. Um, as I expected, I put too much uh, little dust there, so it's quite already um, has a dark color. Oh well, we'll see. Put some tea for the for the piggy. And yes, wow, 
done this smell. They, uh, I wish you were here and you can smell this with me. This is so, so, so pretty. It has such a strong, strong, strong scent. Of course, it has a scent of the Shencha itself. Very strong. And a little bit of a... a they Chinese, they call it the horse sweat smell. Which is a bit funny, but... Um, this it's gotta be has a, that kind of smell that is that brings you very nice and um, it has a like a light uh, tasted uh, nut smell as well to me and um, just a uh, really like a little bit of flower I can smell and like I did with the dry leaf I, I could smell some citrus. Uh, kind of a smell. Whew, so nice. And time to brew. If you see the color of this, it's quite strong yellow green. Like close to green. And it has uh, quite a uh, lot of uh, mineral inside, I, I can say. I know that there were lots of broken leaves. So uh, that's why I could taste a little bit of bitterness. But the bitterness of the shencha <coughs> will turn into sweetness for uh, when they are ripe and becoming the shucha. So um, bitterness in shencha is quite essential for uh, better good tea in later. And even if it's a, a little bit of bitter, Bitterness inside after you drink drink tea, you swallow it, and it comes back like with the sweetness. That's really a, a mystery for me. It's a mystery. How can it be like bitter then comes back with as a sweet? And that's the one thing I love about tea because it's a very surprising, nice surprise. So even if it's uh, in the mouth is uh, bitter, but after it goes in, gets in, it uh, the bitterness will disappear like immediately with it, and then the in that in that space the sweetness will uh, come back, comes back as and then change the taste inside of your mouth. And the smell. Mm. This is this is so good. <laughs> yes, uh, like I said, a lot of uh, complicated uh, notes in here, and um, I can tell this will be very very good shuta in many years later. Oh, I'm so happy! I'm so so happy. Ah, so I think this is it for today. Um, thank you very much for this um, night for a smooth may leaf, and I will be continuing enjoying this. And um, yeah, anybody who is interested in um, having a good quality of uh, a little bit of strong taste of um, shen cha shen pu cha. 
this uh, night forest will be very good uh, choice for you. And um, yeah, I will link below down uh, of the May leaf tea and also the night forest <coughs> mousse tea if you want to uh, purchase it, I think. And um, yeah. I can brew this uh, probably a few more hours, so I'm going to enjoy it. Thank you very much everyone for watching this video. And let's drink good tea for ourselves. Also, um, if you want to continue watching my tea time, please come back. Uh, it will be good if you subscribe and come back. But just coming back will be good too. And like, uh, if you like this video, press the like button. And I will see you in the next video. Until then, everyone. Have a good tea time. Bye-bye.